Welcome to the Muppet Show comic book. <laughs> that Captain Splat sure likes punching old ladies, don't he? Ahem. Would you mind if I were to eject, effect an, an ingress at this juncture? What? Oh, hey, you must be tonight's guest star. Can I take your name? Why, certainly. I am Osbert J. Smedley, insurance agent. My services have been acquired to conduct some routine risk assessment. Oh, so uh, what would I have seen you in? I don't think you fully, you fully apprehend the nature of... Wait a minute. Paint Academy 7. You were the grumpy old Quandy surveyor. Ha! I almost thought... I almost busted gut. You were hilarious. You're mistaken, sir. I... Hey, what's Splat Baxter like in real life? I always heard he was a real nice feller, but he... Uh, but a bit standoffish. Is he... We're stepping out with Lola, Vo with Lola Lavoom. If she ain't had some work done, I'll eat my tie. He's quite right. You know, the Quantity Surveyor in Paint Academy 7 was rather droll. And that bit with the cow, hey, did they get it to break down without falling off the stepladder? <laughs> Gons is blowing a balloon. This is the old guy gave you a. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bump, crash, boom, thud, quake, thud. Oh. Am I doing the yeah, you're doing that part. That wheezing. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. The way they thump around on that stage is a wonder the whole thing doesn't come crashing down around our ears. What? Tight safe for our customer. I said, it's a wonder the place doesn't fall down. My face isn't all brown. I just used the sun lap on weekends. <laughs> uh, you must... Use some burlap on these these three friends. Half past nine. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's pretty good. Backstage clutter, fire hazard. I believe that's lead paint. Uh, excuse me, can I help you? Ah, uh, you must be Mr. The Frog. Smedley's the name. I'm for the claim you not insurance company. <laughs> Just a few routine questions, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, well, I'm sure Scooter can help you. Hey, Scooter, tell Mr. Smedley what he wants to know, will you? I've got to get these books to balance by Friday. Sure thing, boss. Excellent. Now for medical insurance purposes. <laughs> I need to know what species everyone is. Oh, sure. That's easy. We've got humans, cows, pigs, dogs, frogs, bears, dogs, rats, eagles, sheep, lobsters, king prawns. This is a gorilla, but he's under a temporary contract. Shape-shifting mutants, Kuzbanian, and mythological creatures. I think that's it. Hey there. Hiya. Oh, and uh, one of those. <laughs> Next culture. Ugh, Camilla's all dizzy. But she does an amazing job avoiding all the knives. <laughs> <laughs> First <laughs> <laughs> that, that chicken just landed on God, so. <laughs> that music stirred something deep inside me. Third door on the right, top of the stairs. Don't forget to wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, ladies. Congratulations. You have raised the tone of this sorry excuse for a show to an admissible degree. Ditch the weirdo, and we might yet go places. Uh, boss? Hey, Scooter. How are things going with Mr. Smedley? Well, uh, I'll tell you, Kermit, I'm a little worried. We need to identify Gonzo's species, or the insurance won't be renewed. Gonzo's species? Isn't he just a bird of some kind? Not specific enough for the bureaucrats, and even that isn't proven. There are masupials in Australia who look more bird-like than Gonzo. Excuse me, Copper, can you tell us where New Zealand is? He's usually taking, tending his fish tanks out back. Sweet as mate. You know, uh, you know, we could always just ask Gonzo. Hey, Gonzo, what exactly are you? Gee, I really never thought about it. Well, does anyone else know? Camilla, any idea? Burp, 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 burp. Oh, that's sweet of you, honey. <laughs> what did she say? What did she say? <laughs> she said, I'll always be a chicken to her. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, adorable. <laughs> And now it's time for Bear on Patrol. 
when we last saw Patrol Bear, he had just received a tip off from the mysterious El Rizzo that the mass venom, he found this black male and all around bad egg, could be found at a certain tea shop on Mulberry Street. Now read on. Yes. Policeman, we'd like to ask you a few questions. I'll try some of your delicious ankles cakes. Oh my, well, I suppose you better take a seat. I hope this isn't about Egbert, our former dishwasher. I swear, I didn't know he was a marzipan fiend. No, ma'am, we're after much bigger fry. Tell her Fosse. Oh yeah, we, we got a tip that uh, the, the masked phantom was seen here not long ago. You got any information on that for us? Uh, that all? Kind of? What? What? No, no, there's a mass phantom here. Aha, uh -huh, so you know this mass phantom. All I hear when I hear the radio, same as anyone else. Oh, yes, the radio, or should I say the bathroom mirror? What? You can't fool me with your latex rubber mask. Why, I know the twitch, that accent, that rackish lip every, anywhere. Ah, oh, get off of me, you lunatic. Two slices, please. Patrol bear handcuffs quickly. We got the phantom. Oh, you know what, Patrol Bear? I smell a parade in our honor. Medals at the very least. Nick, Chief, that can't be. The Masked Phantom, take another look at the warning poster. See? No resemblance whatsoever. How I shouldn't uh, get, get, back to, get back to headquarters. Get back to headquarters. <laughs> our our tick-tock toe contest is just getting interesting. <laughs> Phew, that was close. I thought they'd never leave. Now about this bank job. <laughs> 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 we'll patrol for issue enough parking tickets between now and Christmas to get now that promotion. Would she Hogdrop be given that transfer so he desperately craves? Will the mass fan ever fire her nephew when she realizes he made a terrible nefudgeant brittle? Tune in again next time for a repeat of last year's Bear on Patrol. Bear on Patrol. <laughs> hmm. Mother of Pearl Egg uh, effect on plumage. No. Legs in a swamp wire. No. He can't be a sparrow. Scooter, what's up? Rizzo, tell me, do you know Gonzo's species? It's really, really important. Can't say as I do sport. I can tell you he's definitely not a cow. Not a C-O. Ah! What am I doing? Maybe you should just, like, observe from a distance. He's bound to do something species-specific sooner or later. And so... <laughs> okay, this doesn't add up at all. He can't be a dodo. I'm missing something fundamental, but what? What? Time to try a different tack. Maybe I can approach this by consensus. What do you think Gonzo is? I always thought he was some kind of candy bird. Clearly the result of science gone mad. Not that we scientists go mad, you understand? Oh, the bark, you hear the bark, you hear the bark, the bark. <laughs> Lobster. Lobster. <laughs> ah. Man, he can swing anyway. Any which way, I can dig it. I, for one, would like to think of him as a homemade thread gentle. Unfortunately, meep, he's meep, too weird. Meep, 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 meep. <laughs> Gonzo, is he the green fellow with the flippers or the hairy one in the hat? Oh, that is weird. This is Gonzo's act. Not a day, what a day. Not only had my old partner pals set up for a rival shop near my near my patch, he stole my girl and just to rub it in my face. And so that weren't bad enough. I was down to my last few drops of sarsaparilla. Things weren't looking so good for Gumshoe McGurk, private eye. That's when she walked into my life. Hot tamales. Ah, <laughs> uh, the God stopper Ruby is priceless. <laughs> what do you mean, God? <laughs> but it wasn't locked. <laughs> Strange indeed. If her story checked out, it would take all of my faculties and my resources to recover that glitzy bauble. The question was, did it check out? Or was this just some flim flam to get me out of the way? I decided to play it cool. 
Okie doke. Okay, doll. I'll take the case. 300 a day plus expenses. In fact, I think I may already have a few suspects. A few hours later, I'd asked some questions, pulled some favors, and thrown a little parade. Okay, sweetheart, tell me if you recognize anyone. Fascinating. Fascinating. For that bear is none other than Police Chief Bruin. Hardy, a suspected, hardly a suspect at all. I've been on to you from uh, the minute you walked into my office. Once I stared, uh, I, I started with the working assumption that Ruby hadn't been stolen, but that you were working some kind of insurance scam. The rest <laughs> fell into place. You concealed the Ruby, came to me to give me the impression that you were looking for it and even threw a little money in my, my way and, and didn't think that I'm not grateful. Don't think that I'm not grateful. Sarsaparilla doesn't come cheap by any means. I had to do something. I needed to meet your charade with a charade of my own. So I came up with a plan to distract you with the phony lineup and, and, fell, and, and you fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker, of course. You thought you could pin the crime on one of these bogus lotus. But while you were busy trying to place the blame on the chief of police, I checked your purse. And sure enough, bingo! Great work, Gumshoe. But how did you know she wasn't actually Mrs. Featherstone? But really, the confidence trickster Bubbles McGillicuddy cunningly disguised having spent three years being worshipped as a goddess of the island of Babu? Call it a hunch. <laughs> Another case solved, but the victory was bittersweet. I may have kept my integrity, but I lost the only dame I ever truly needed. Mrs. Chris, my cleaning lady, she quit after I threw her Tomcat Matthew out the window. Cleaners can't live with them, can't live without them. <laughs> 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 and now, pigs in space. Starring Captain Lee Cogfrod, first mate, Miss Figgy, and the super, super silly, superstitious Dr. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> when we last saw the good ship Swine Shrek, it may have been charged with bringing a strange unidentified ship to the intergalactic authorities. Now read on. I don't know if it was wise to bring the prisoner on board, Captain. Oh, pshaw, these restraints are pure pig iron. We're perfectly safe. And the scientific opportunities of studying this creature up close far outweigh the risks. <laughs> Wait, what did he just say? Strange part, you speak weirdo. What was that? I'm trying to narrow down this species so I can de de program the translators without knowing where he's from. Your guess is as good as mine. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Definitely looked at me when he said that. Okay, that makes him at least part mammal. That narrows it down. Keep going. Uh, okay, let me try. Hello, space bug thing. We are from Earth. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't understand. That always works in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, now we're getting somewhere. There are only three mammalian races in the universe who can roll their cues like that. Gee, Doc, he seems <laughs> really upset about something. What should we do? Wait, is that you? I'm sorry, I had garlic for... No, no, that odor is the last piece of the puzzle. He's from Grasb 4, or I'm a baboon hitting tr translators. Hitting, I mean, baboon hitting translators. Okay. Now. <laughs> Wash my hands. Uh, of course, come with me. The bug people of Grasb 4 are very particular about personal hygiene. It has religious significance for them. We narrowly avoided a major diplomatic gap there. Aw, uh, Doc, this thing's not set for grass but four. It says grass but six. Whoops, let me fix that and play back. Destroy your planet piece by piece, starting with your bathroom facilities. And I can't believe that's your real hair. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Will the space bugs sabotage the swine tracks plumbing before they can stop him? <laughs> sabotage. <laughs> Will first make Piggy give him a black eye before looking at it heard the wrong way? Is that really Captain Hogtop's real hair? All these questions or none of them will be answered the next thr thrilling episode of Pigs in Space. <sighs> rats. None of this makes a lick of sense. Rats, rats, rats. You called? Oh, hi, Rizzo. Sorry, no offense. This Gonzo business is getting me down. What Gonzo business is this? When he landed on a policeman or where he tried to set fire to one? Hehe. <laughs> Johnny Rose sure was a bad one to be a policeman, wasn't it? No, no, those were set out of court. This is about figuring out what Gonzo actually is so we can insure the theater. What is he? Isn't he obvious? Is it? Sure, he's a Gonzo. Gonzo the Great. The one, the only, the best. He's unique, Scooter. Utterly one of a kind. You know, I guess he is. He may be a scrawny, homely, uncategorizable thing, but... He's our scrawny home and categorizable thing. Mr. Smedley, you've got your answer. boy, and I'm 100% behind you. As long as you remember it, it goes wrong with the, it, it, it was nothing to do with me. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for the old martial arts extravaganza, that is. Twinkle, twinkle, little rat. Twinkle, twinkle, little rat. Do you like my new cravat? All dressed up to do karate. Just in time to join the party. Twinkle, twinkle, mind that tea. Voice up or it over me. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little pot. Must you be so very hot? Filled up with the sweetest brew. What on it? What an Earl Grey friend to do. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, put me down. Leave me in my tea of brown. Twinkle, twinkle, no more tea. This will be the end of me. Oh, it's all gone the way of dust. Laugh at me, sir, if you must. Wait a minute, Mr. Hat. Leave this to a clever rat. Twinkle, twinkle, little cup. Hold so why I fill you up. Coffee is the way to go. Made from bean grounds, don't you know? So you deserve some cheese. Pour me 20, if you please. Maybe I was somewhat hasty. Twenty coffees ain't so tasty. Twinkle, twinkle, what a sight. This will keep me up all night. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, what did you think? Twinkle, twinkle, boy, they sing. <laughs> <laughs> nice, guys. They'll have to get up early in the morning to do better than that. They have to stay up all night. <laughs> Mr. Smedley, Mr. Smedley, I finished fi filling out the form you wanted. M oh, yes, excellent. Now, frogs, pigs, chickens, blah de blah de blah and... Oh, dear. Everything all right, Mr. Smedley? That creepy little guy. He was Gonzo. Gonzo the Great. Gonzo the Daredevil Knife Juggler. Fire Eater. Motorcycle Stunster. Gonzo that Gonzo. The one, the only. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Where's that calculator? Even living in the same town as that fiend will increase your premiums. But to be actually showing a, fee at a theater, oh me, oh my, we're looking to increase the theater at least 5,000%. Uh, Mrs. Medley, we were discussing this earlier, and we kind of thought you, we, you needed to check out our stringent, stringent safety procedures before you did anything. You know, hasty safety procedures. In fact, I would say that my act is entirely risk-free. And to reassure you, I would encourage, no, I would insist that you test the procedures personally. What? <laughs> That's right, Mrs. Smedley. It's your turn in the barrel. Come on, kids arrive. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Perhaps I could check this figure just one more time. Heavens, did I say 5,000%? How, how on earth did that decimal point get there? Now, put that there. Carry the one. Take away the number you first thought of. Fancy that. It appears we owe you 32 cents. Funny how little mistakes can add up. Well, bye. Hey, gang, looks like we sorted that out just in time for the closing number. Who'd have guessed? Extravaganza. <laughs> <laughs> he flies through the air with such style and such grace. He's Gonzo the Great and he's hot on the case. It takes just a moment to see what we mean. He's Gonzo the Great, and he's stealing the scene. He's always exciting. He's always the thrill. 
That gonzo keeps moving, he never stays still. From cans and catapults, traps and balloons, that gonzo comes flying to popular tunes. <laughs> So roll up and see him. He's trying again. He's flying through space and defying the pain. He's ready to do it. He's nothing to lose. He's climbed in the cannon. He's hiding the fuse. Boom! <laughs> ah! <laughs> he's gone so the great and how greatly he filled. His collarbone's broken and he's not very well. They say he'll be here till next Thursday at least. He's gone so the greatest. The mystery beast. <laughs> 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 we'll come by again tomorrow, Gonzo. Don't worry. They'll have you up and about in no time. They always do, don't they? <clears throat> oh, thanks for coming, Scooter. I, I, I'm sorry I won't be performing for a while. Don't you worry about it, Gonzo. Gonzo, I need to ask you something. It's driving me nuts. I just have to know. Tell me, please. What the heck are you? Oh, Scooter, I thought you knew. I am an artist. An artist? Well, I guess he is after all. <laughs> ah, I think that was wonderful. I'm an artist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>